Hi, it's Carrie. It's my last video of 2022. I just wanted to say thank you for watching this year as I've started my YouTube channel. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments. I hope you found some of it useful and learned some new things. And today I'm going to show you how to create fillable forms in Word. There are lots of ways to create fillable forms in different software applications, but you can do it in Word. Now I'm not an expert in this, but it has been really helpful for things like the peer review of electronic search strategies form. I've created my own form that was fillable before they came out with their own fillable form. It might be useful for reference interview or reference consultation. And there are even some advanced things that you can do with this, like connect it to a database where you capture your answers. Unfortunately, I haven't done that. I don't know how to do that. So today we'll just be looking at creating a fillable form in Word. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the developer tab is showing in your Word program. And the way to do that is to go to File and go to Options and then go to Customize Ribbon. Look for the Developer option, make sure that it's checked, and then say OK. And then you can go up here to the Developer option Let's say today we're creating sort of a reference consultation form. This won't be very good, but hopefully it will give you some ideas. So we want to do things like name, department, ask if they're a student, and when do you need the results? Bye. So this is pretty simple and not especially fancy, but here I'll be able to show you some ways to create a fillable form. So we have the developer tab showing and we have our field options here in the middle and we just get to choose what kinds of fields we want to enter. So for name, it will just be a text field. Department, we might do a drop down. Student, we might try check boxes. And here we can have text fields as well. So let's go through this. We'll start with name. I'm just going to put in a space here. And you can use either rich text content control or plain text content control. I haven't noticed it to make a difference. I'm not that advanced yet. And I'll just choose plain text content control. We'll come down to the next field. And we might try a drop down. So we hover until we find our drop down and we can select it and then click on properties. We'll just call it department. We'll come down here to our drop down list properties and we will say add. So I added some fields just by typing in here. We'll say okay. And now we have the option to choose. Next we'll say yes. Let's have a checkbox here. And then we'll just move our cursor to the next part. No. Checkbox here. Here I'm going to give our user a little bit more space to type in their information just by moving my cursor down to the next line and then adding a text box. And finally, we will do a calendar here. So up here on the developer tab, we see the calendar option and when the user comes here, they'll be able to pick a date. Finally, we want to save this, but before we do that, we're going to restrict editing because we want to keep our fields consistent. We don't want the user to edit the field names. We only want the user to be able to edit the field. So I'm going to go to restrict editing. Over here we have options, and we'll just say allow only this type of editing in the document, filling in forms. You can play around with this to see how it works for you. Then I'm going to save it. We'll call it fillable form 2022. Believe me, I do have better naming conventions than this. I'm just trying to show you how it works. And then I'll close it. I'm going to reopen our form by going to fillable form 2022. And now I can fill it out. Now, because I was the original creator, I can still edit the fields. So I filled it out according to the fields I had already put in place. I hope this helped you learn something. Please do this instead of doing this. Because we don't do this anymore. Anyway, if you are 
trying to make fillable forms, good luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.